Okay, so this is a very, very small example of the damages we've received from Safewell. You can see heavy scratches, scuffs. And if you can just point to them when I'm getting to them so I, so I can see which ones, which are where I'm. Scratch there, scratch there. These are all side panels. You can see big dirty scratches. Um, this is a, another side panel, smaller one. Another side panel there. This is another side panel. And this is stock that we've ordered and we've um, been waiting two, three months for. Um, and this obviously affects us in a very bad way because now we can't sell these cabinets. And we got another one there. And of course, Safewell is still demanding the, um, here you go, big scratches here, big scratches here. Safewell is still demanding that we pay them the balance we owe them and also threatening to report us to Sinoshore. So Sinoshore ensure most Chinese suppliers invoices. So if there's ever a dispute in payment, big scratch there, Sinoshore will cover the, can you stand it up for me please? We'll pay, we'll pay the invoice. But of course Safewell do not tell Sinoshore what the problem is. They're just going to tell Sinoshore that customer is not paying. They don't tell them that they sent a lot of damaged goods out. Um, some more cable management's here. So obviously when you get put on credit stop in China that affects you with any other supplier. It's not acceptable. So like I said this is a very very small example. Can't really see that one, the sun's shining of the products we've been sent. I think we've sent them over 500, 600 images. There you go, cabinet door that's not been fixed properly. Um, yeah, six, 600 plus pieces of damaged items that build a cabinet. We've only just brought this small example out so I could do this video as a potential customer to Safewell. You need to be aware of level of damaged goods they send out and how they um, handle the situation. They're, refu they're refusing to replace these parts. So, you know, me as a company, I've already sent them, I think 36,000 um, US dollars, no pounds, you know, and they're still expecting the balance of um, another 14,000, which they're demanding I pay before they even discuss replacing these parts. And of course, if I pay them, how do I know they're going to replace the parts? 